Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Aaron. And we're continuing the binge no. through Agent Carter. No. Last time on Agent Carter, Aaron, the no. mystery deepens better, I mean. Well, like, I think they got rid of all the, the, the orange balls. Orange balls, yeah, yeah. they all blew up, took out all no, the water. they weren't blue, they were orange. They, weren't they blue blew balls. up. Oh. They oranged up. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, they did that. They did. Uh, the guy that was like, you know, like, I need protection, that guy. He wrote a symbol, which is a heart with a squiggly. I, does, I drew that just now. Yep. It's pretty. Billy, I want you to go and, like, the Disney Channel, when they do that shit. I hope it sucks. Probably does. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, yeah, um, we have that. We have uh, some suspicious activity from Howard and Jarvis, maybe? I don't know. Cause yeah. They, they had a, a line in the first episode talking about, like, yeah, she doesn't suspect Do a thing. Or she be, Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So uh, I don't know what that's we, about. We speculated that it's about maybe having, starting S.H.I.E.L.D. and she could be the one. A new know. initiative. Yeah. The S.H.I.E.L.D. initiative. Yes. Uh, we also had, um, I, started, I started watching last night. What? In S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I watched episode, like, one and two. And good. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm like, man, I forgot why I love this show, right. Coulson and stuff so much. Oh, uh, Ward. He's like, he's like, oh, I have level six. Coulson's dead. Yeah. He's not around. He, he comes out of the shadows. Me. He goes, Welcome to level seven. Welcome to level seven. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself. It's dark corner. He's <laughs> like, light bulb out. I'm like, oh, I love Coulson so much. I know, I know. Love him. Uh, I love him too, and we're we got to get through this because we got to get to the new season, season seven of Agents of Shield. Level I'm watching seven. Season one and episode and season two of Agent Carter. I'm gonna have a. Wait! <laughs> damn it, no. I was trying to do it so you didn't. You, damn it, I'm playing my glass, no! Where are you? Jimmy. My girlfriend Molly, she lives here, I swear. Five five, blonde, works at Bonwood, tell her. Next one I am done. Would it be too much trouble if I could. Have a nice night. Damn it, I'm getting sex tonight, I swear. Well, please, to fucking climb to the third close. story. Walk. <laughs> Molly Bowen. Let's go to your room and pack your Oh, what? How'd she find out? Well, Jimmy wasn't necessarily subtle. You believe that? I don't, actually. Oh, go impenetrable. Hmm. Hmm. She was the one saying how great this all was and failed to mention this. Brannis. All up in God. And you? Oh, we oh, kind of saw yeah, her. I want to see. I, I, for, for a while, I'm like, is she even real? Maybe she's just like a trick. <laughs> you know, like... What, it's just him with the yeah, wind? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think the sultry combination of candlelight and rain always puts me out like a baby. You're quite the guard dog. Security is not really my turn. Shouldn't sleep with the candle on, it's dangerous. Huh? Burn the place down. Oh, man. Is that Sousa? What's, what are they doing here? They're tracking the mm -hmm. car. And no one feuded if his man's ring his door. Carter. <laughs> sure, can I buy your for you? <laughs> that giant house, and that's where you hide. What is a big novel? I haven't been in the back of a car in years. <laughs> oh, get driven. A lot of stuff gets stolen from our start. Cars, bombs, death rays. Actually, the death rays accounted for. It's in Nevada, I believe. <laughs> See why he hired you. You're smart, cool headed, extremely loyal. Alright, we're gonna learn some. Which is surprising considering you were charged with treason. What? Got the words tie. Nope. Mr. Jarvis, I want you to name. Chief Dooley, I'm afraid I mistakenly took your stolen car report. You didn't. How stupid that was. I didn't. Exactly, you didn't think. For the love of people, somebody tell me what I did. Who I cheesed off to have you dumped in my lap. And you wonder why well, you never catch any actual assignments. Hey. Man. Some... She has to appear to be... Yeah. Yeah. Were they just lying they couldn't find it? Yeah. Okay. All That's right. why he said, like, lost in the system and threw it down on the table. Oh, okay. Because as long as they didn't have it to show him, and they're like, oh, we're looking for it, they could question him about yeah. it. Yeah. But as soon as he's like, oh, well, if you have the report, I guess I'm done here. Gotcha. Dorothy Underwood. Oh, call me Dottie. Nice to meet you. Dottie. This place is pretty swell, huh? Seems like one big happy family. Brown 
doors off. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. I love your accent. Why don't I trust England, her? right? I didn't mean to interrupt. No harm. Wasn't much more to say. I'm sure you'll be very happy. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I feel like there's a reason they showed her. Yeah. I don't know why. She's tall. My involvement with you and Mr. Stark could, on the face of it, be considered treasonous. Good. I don't need to know the details of your past, Mr. Jarvis. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> she, she wants to know so bad. He could have floated his stolen treasure all the way to the sea. Hmm. hmm. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Or turtles helped. From that now, make sure the chief gets us when he gets back. I mean, Daredevil wasn't around yet, so no. His name is Sasha Demidov. You might know the rest of got... No girl's gonna trade in a red, white, and blue shield for an aluminum crutch. Ah, jeez, jeez. Yeah, right. Your knowledge of waste removal rather surprises me. I spent a week down here in the winter of 42. It was another time, perhaps. After all, we all have secrets. <laughs> we all have secrets. Yeah, sorry, right. I need to know. Yeah, she, she wants to know so bad. I was arrested in the middle of Whitehall. <laughs> On a Tuesday. How did I get Howard? The same way I avoided the noose. Howard? Howard? Mr. Stark had unfinished business with the general, and he and I had always got along. When he heard of my predicament, he used his influence. Huh. Sounds like a story. Yeah, okay. Another time, perhaps. Huh. It wasn't like, I was going to kill the president, you know? Yeah. Like... <laughs> I still a declaration of independence. Mr. Bernice is simple. Oh, hey, look, there's a rope and a heart. Well, hot damn. Uh oh. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy's here again. <laughs> this is where that girl's living now. Yeah. She can't, she can't yeah, live they live in the docks. <laughs> I will call them in, and they will respect me. But they won't. And they haven't yet. They'll only use it to tear you down. The heartbreak, Doc 12. Who is this? Just a pal. Tell me your name. How did you get this number? Have a lovely night. Have a lovely night. Have a lovely night. Well, have a lovely night. No, instead. Let's go. Damn, I just started eating my Reuben. Let's go. Damn, I want a Reuben. Who makes a good Reuben? <sighs> I don't like Reuben. I like all the, in, the all the ingredients individually. We put them together. I, I hate like all the them. ingredients. I hate them all. In really? Room. I love them together. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Who's uh, this guy? A big old guy with the, with the, uh, suspenders. I'm the skipper. Oh no! Uh, you took care of that. And now the cops are coming. Use a massager. I don't know what it does. It breaks your bones. Yeah, but I don't know how you use it. It's like a taser. Or... Yeah. Oh. Uh, pipe. Oh! Damn. Oh. Right there, it's green, it's big, it's green. Get it, get it, get it. Good fights. Oh, it's Jarvis. Hashtag Jarvis. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Well, Come on, Jarvis. You were an army man. I was hoping he'd be kind of good. I mean, this guy has that, like, might be There strength. it is! Oh. oh my gosh. I hate the sound! The constrictor. Ah! Oh. Fine, it's straight. It's fine and healthy. I'm that fine worked on if you want to. Can you imagine, like, oh, here's a massage. Fine and healthy and straight arm. Fine. And she'd be like, Eric, we gotta find this new thing. Try ah. this. I hate it. I hate the idea that it just breaks on, you know? We got the Stark stuff. Like the whole hall. Oh no. We don't want to end up inside out. We're getting promotions out of this. We're gonna have to love Christmas. I'm gonna call Chief. <laughs> 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 oh no. Are they gonna like what was that show where they push him into train tracks? Remember that? Dude, he just found out that it's Carter, he's totally dead. Yep, he's gonna get hit into this by train. Don't move. Yep, there it goes. Uh, I mean, he was a douchebag, but... Oh, uh, are they gonna kill this guy? That looks like a woman, yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, look at his shoes. It's 
woman. He wouldn't have been there, too, right, if she had taken a shift. He was going to go on a date, but he had to stay. She's going to feel a little responsible there. Yeah, I'm going to find that bastard. She really should have called the cops. Don't any of you forget, Brzezinski would still be with us today if it wasn't for how it started. Well, he pulled the trigger now. Hmm. I think that guy, the chief, more than anybody, I truly believe. Close girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> Call his girlfriend. I truly believe the chief is like from that time period. Yeah. Like he plays it so well. He wears that hat so good. I think the like ex military dude or whatever plays it pretty well. Yeah. You know how you feel. Blindsided. Like when my cousin Ralphie got hit by a bus. Granted he did just knock off the new stand, but still big shock. <laughs> Ralphie. Desert the wives hit me so hard. Let me get this jerk's refill and I'll clock out. <laughs> Doing that jerk quite fancy, dude. Shut up, English. You talk too much. Could be her. They seem to have the same body type. Yeah, I feel like it's gotta be someone we know. But does that mean she's like... She's a double-double agent. They mentioned Rush earlier. Automat. Automat. Automaton. Automatons. Uh, Autobots. It's her! She's a train. Roll out! <laughs> no, I just feel like... Like, the first shot, I didn't notice, it, like, a woman thing, and then you said about maybe a woman, and then when they killed, I was like, that looks like Well, a woman. when they first got to the boat, it was just the hat, and I, I thought that was a guy. Mm -hmm. It was the second time they showed from yeah. the back. And I'm thing. like, I don't know, there's something about the face and the structure and the posture that... And then as soon as I saw the kind of oversized jacket, I'm like, yeah, okay, that's... You don't... If you're a costume designer on a show, you don't tailor a jacket like that unless you want it to be something tricky, you know? So... He's a little oversized, so it's, it's got to be a woman. And then as soon as, like, the full profile, she was wearing heels and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so I feel like the way it is, you either get Angie or you get that new Dorothy chick that we just mm, met. The new Dorothy chick. Because I'm like, why the hell yeah, they why show Yeah, why show that scene? He's like, oh, an English accent. Never, oh, that's so crazy. Unless Dorothy's going to be the red herring, and it really is her, you know? Yeah. You mm. bring her in for a reason, because you don't need... They had a whole bunch of other women there at the table. Yeah. You didn't need to introduce whoever that was. Because they had Molly, you know? You could have had Molly be it instead. Yeah. What they, like what they mentioned in the beginning about Russia? About Russia? Didn't they mention something about Russia in the beginning? I mean, the one guy had... Uh, the, the guy that died that didn't talk, that he had a typewriter. Yeah. Had, like, a Russian passport and different stuff, I think. Okay. And then they were talking about the typewriter. It's like, how, how far... Like, what kind of long range? Like, long range to Moscow? Yeah. So, I think they're suspecting him being Russian. Well, yeah. And the he was in a Russian army division, too, right? The Supposedly. I think Lee Brannis okay. was in the four eight five Russian. Something. I just wonder if we do go with some kind of Russia stuff. Like, I mean, obviously, I think of like Nat, Natasha Romanoff. I think of Black Widow stuff. I mean, she was Russian before she. She was. With, I don't know. I don't guess I don't know much of the Black Widow things, but like, wasn't she a Russian spy and then turned? Yes. Okay. Maybe you could have something in there about that, because, I mean, that's S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff, you know? Yeah. It's um, possible. I mean, even... I mean, they had... They were a Russian spy group, like, all the women training and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, like, all the ballerinas dancing, like, when she, like, is looking back at Asia Ultron stuff. Like, that's Black Widow things, I think, right? Well, yeah. Um, in the... Like, in the Black Widow movie, too, like, we haven't seen it, but mm -hmm. the trailers and stuff, like, they have a... Uh, like a class and it's all yeah. females and stuff so like maybe you, you're like are you saying like maybe this could be like another woman from that class maybe like I'm just that? like because you know I, I, I wrote the Russian stuff down at the beginning like I wonder if they're trying to see maybe there's going to be a Leviathan and some kind of like Russian thing you know because I don't know if they're going to want to go right into Hydra because Hydra's technically supposed to be hidden until it reveals itself again you know in Winter Soldier so maybe they'll go some other direction with this Leviathan bad guy, and they kind of started seeing some Russian things. And then as soon as I saw it was, it's a woman actually that's doing this. Like, hmm, maybe some like Black Widow stuff, maybe you know, that could be cool. Um, they also mentioned Budapest in here, which was a Black Widow thing, but obviously that's just for Nat and that's different. Clint. Yeah, that's <laughs> I am saying, man, you put Budapest in a Marvel thing, I'm gonna notice it. Yes, but that was that was Jarvis Bahrain. Yeah, yeah, right, Bahrain. But that was Jarvis and his uh, and his wife Anna. Mm hmm. So. I, I did like the conversation about like his treason and how that happened and mm -hmm. 
you know, I'm, he has some kind of military background, but it didn't seem to be too much as like a fighting combat. Like Agent Carter is definitely more capable. Of yeah, fi- at least fighting that one dude. He seemed to be an assistant for a general. Yeah, not maybe. necessarily like on the, you know he probably went through like basic training and stuff. But Which might make more sense, like if he's just helping the general yeah. in an assistant format, then that's how he's able to get onto yeah. the get the papers and forge a name and stuff like that. Yeah, when they first said, I was slightly confused. I'm like treason from the British, because and then I'm thinking like he has a British accent, right? And then I was like doubting myself because yeah. he wasn't talking, you know. <laughs> like maybe he just has a really proper way of speaking, you know. Some people speak like this. But they don't have an accent, <laughs> you know? No, yeah, British accent for sure. Yeah. But yeah. It's... For sure. I was just doubting myself. But so he hmm. came to America, joined the American army. I think. And then, because they're talking about like dishonorable discharge and that kind of thing, they have those records, I assume. I don't know. I don't know how it works because, I mean, Peggy's working here, you know, in America and stuff too, so... I guess I was a tiny bit confused there, but I'm sure it's going to be fine, me assuming these things, that he was in the American Army. But if he wasn't, people will let us know. Well, it definitely makes And then more... weeks and weeks and weeks from now, maybe we'll find out. Well, it makes more sense that he was in the like American Army versus yeah. like something else, because Howard had some ins and stuff with him, True. too, and he was working with, yeah. for the most part, the American Army. Yeah. So. Okay. I knew it was Tommy Jones. Wasn't he a general? Yeah. He's still scary. Yeah, I love him. I, I really do want to rewatch that movie. Maybe I'll do that tonight or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I didn't catch the, the guy's name, the, the guy that died. I can't remember what his name was. Uh, Krasim, Krasimsky? Krasimsky. Something like that. Krasimsky. Well, now I know it, now that he's dead. Yeah, as soon as that guy mentioned Carter, you know, or like the dame... British accent. I'm like, yeah, fuck, he's dead, man. He's dead. It sucks. When they said that, and then like, it was like, stop. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. And then my first thought was going to, uh, I can't think of what it was. It was a show or a movie, but the common way that they kept killing people was that, maybe it was Untouchables? I don't know what it was. It'd be at a stop at a railroad tracks, and they would push them into the into railroad it. tracks, mm. which I think they tried to do it to someone else. And they just went forward and killed the guys. Yeah. Instead of trying to like stop it or go backwards, like, no, don't, don't push me. They just like, fuck it, I'll go straight. Mm-hmm. And they went straight. It was, it was an action movie. Leave the weapon! Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Agent Carter with us. The next one is going to be available right now mm-hmm. over at patreon.com slash blindly. If not, we'll see you back here next Monday. Uh, we're going to be jumping into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. either, it's pretty soon actually, or it's right now if you're watching this in the future. Oh, I'm excited to see more. Hydra!